This is Jacob Fry with Fry Tech IT Services. In this how-to video, I'm going to be showing you a little bit about laptop hard drives. I have a couple of different laptops here, and I'm going to be showing you the sim similarity in how the hard drives are installed and how to remove them and to replace them and to check and see what type of hard drive you have. Now, right here for this laptop, it's a Toshiba, uh, Toshiba Satellite. And most of these laptops are the same. Um, you'll have, in this particular one, you have your battery, uh, a RAM cover here, and a hard drive cover, and then your DVD drive over here. Most of the time on these, uh, you'll just pull the battery out normally by pulling these two uh, clips to the side and pulling straight out up in the back. All of them are pretty similar. Uh, make sure you're grounded. Uh, I ground myself normally on a computer case or something very similar. Uh, you can kind of feel static in your in your hair, on your arms, things like that as well. So make sure you 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 grounded yourself, and you just take a standard uh, Phillips head screwdriver, and I'm gonna pop off this case piece here. Most of these have one one screw in them, and a lot of them the screws stay in now. They have a clip on the back of the screw, so the screw won't fall out. So when you pull this off. See if I can get this it's a better view. Here's your hard drive right here. Now this is a standard platter hard drive and there's actually no screws in here or anything that hold this in. What holds this one in is the part on the back of this piece of plastic. It pushes up against this. A lot of these will have screws around them and I'll show you that in the next laptop that I'm going to deal with. But this is just a standard Toshiba hard drive and a Toshiba laptop and it just pull straight out there and you pick straight up on it. That's what this aluminum is for. Um, there you go. This is a let's see I think this is a 500 gig yeah it's a 500 gig standard platter hard drive. So uh, normally once you have your hard drive out you can replace it by buying another one putting it in but as, as far as getting windows on it and installing everything properly on it that's a whole different story. Uh, and I might create a how-to on that, but this one I'm just focusing on the hardware part of it. So once you pull that out, you can take another one. Uh, all you do is take this case off right here. You, it's got four screws in it. You just unscrew each one of these sides here. And then this will come off and you put the new hard drive in. And uh, just the exact same way where the tab's in the back. And put the four screws in. And then you'll just lay it down in here. It's got little guides where these screws go. I don't know if you can see right there, but right in here there's these little guides where these four screws on the hard drive go. And once you lay it in there, it just pushes straight into the slot. If I can get the screws in the right spot here. And of course it doesn't want to go in for me. There we go and see it pops in with a little bit of effort and then all you would do is take this piece of plastic and it's got little tabs here in the back that rock in first and then the tabs on the side will go so you just put it in the back make sure this little piece of little aluminum falls out of the way put that on I normally to turn the screw backwards until you hear it click that means it's in place and getting ready and then you tighten it down and you're ready to go then you just got to test and boot it up, make sure it boots correctly. If you're changing out to a new hard drive, of course, you're going to have to install all the software on there and everything like that. Now, that's for this Toshiba. And I've used this Dell before. This is my personal Dell laptop. Um, this one, I'm going to show you how similar it is. Um, you're going to pull the battery out. And this one actually pulls up from the back. You just remove the battery. And then it's got the four screws here. So you're just going to pop these four screws out. Now these particular screws do not stay in the case. They will come out, so try not to lose those. And once you pull these four screws out, set my screwdriver down, just pull this towards you, or in this particular model, just pull that towards you and you can set that off. 
That's your case bottom, and then from here you can get to pretty much everything. Here's your RAM. Uh, in a different you or a different how-to video, I uh, removed this and put it back in. Show you how to do that. Um, to remove the hard drive, see this is normally how it looks: is you've got four screws in some configuration that'll pull out in a metal case around the hard drive. So in this model, this latitude, you just pull these four screws out. And I always try to keep all my screws separate. You can get a white sheet of paper and write down on the sheet of paper in different sections where screws come from and lay them on there because it'll make them stand out. But I've been doing this a while and um, normally I don't end up losing screws or anything. But it is a very good thing if you're a first time person to do this is to get a white sheet of paper and write down where each set of screws come from so you get them back in the right spot. But here almost every one of these has some sort of a tab on it and you just pull on the tab normally in the opposite direction. Let's see. Yeah, this one right here you got to pick up first. So I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver here. You got to pick it up above the plastic first. Oh no, okay, there we go. This one it pulls straight up and out. It actually has the adapter on it. This is an adapter, a SATA adapter for a hard drive. Some of these to get them to where they make them smaller and smaller. They have different ways to sit these hard drives in and see right here your SATA power port and data port are actually pointing up and it has an adapter that plugs into your hard drive that goes down on there so you'd actually pull straight up on this particular model see all these are just a little bit different but they're also extremely similar and this is actually an Intel 180 gig solid state hard drive that I have in here uh, that runs really well and for this particular one you pop the four screws out from here to get the piece of metal off and then I just line up the hard drive and put it in the same where you have your data slots right here by your black tab and once you do that you would take your adapter here you would put your adapter back on it you would set the back end first right here and then slide straight down to seat it into place and then you just put your four screws in and you'd be ready so these are very similar. Sometimes it takes just a little bit of know-how to get into them. Like this one's just a little bit different. Most of them seat straight into the SATA slot, but some of them have uh, different ways to go in there. So just a few things to look at, but hopefully this was instructional for you, and hopefully it'll allow you to be able to do your own. So please remember to visit me at www.frytechit.com. Thank you.